beautiful friends, here is your weekly horoscope for the week of April 23rd. Now this week, the Astrology 103, 103 Sinistry class is up. It's ready to be booked. It will book quickly. The summertime classes have booked up. So if you're interested, description box down below. Okay, so this week is so interesting because what we've got is a fair amount of intensity, okay? We've got a Scorpio full moon, a Mars-Pluto conjunction. Uh, there's the minor sign change, really. Uh, the sun is also going to bring a trine to the table. So this is kind of an, a week where I feel like there's a, a fair amount of flirtiness going on in conversation, but there's also a fairly serious and intense tone to the week. So let's talk this through. Okay, so it looks like here on Tuesday, the 24th, we've got Venus moving into Gemini. So she wants to flirt. She wants to talk. She's thinking romantic thoughts, you know, all of these good things. So for the next four weeks, enjoy that, you know, have some cheeky conversation. It's <laughs> really delicious, actually. This could even look like a short romantic trip for some of you and if you're not partnered up you can still go on a romantic trip by yourself some kind of short trip could be happening for sure now here on wednesday the 25th this is immediately when i think that not only does this flirty conversation kind of take a notch down but the thinking the decision making and the awareness becomes a little bit more serious because we've got mercury in a square to saturn okay this is when thinking speaking decision making relationships um, of the mind anything up here studies become a lot more serious but really this one time this month mars pluto conjunction that is going on on thursday this is intense, you guys. Now, you know I'm a big fan of finding the positive, but first we have to talk about what this really looks like in astrology. This is like the absolute sign for aggression. These two together bring a sense of aggression and intensity, sometimes even violence to the table. So we need to be mindful of this. This is, this is an energy that is bigger. It is darker. It should definitely... Um, have a level of respect to the intensity that I think maybe we don't always apply when we're looking at the weeklies or when we're looking through certain things in our charts. Now, Mars and Pluto are both such powerful energies that this could also bring a really intense change in action, which could be absolutely phenomenal to you. We've got a Scorpio full moon coming up on Sunday the 29th, and this has that Pluto energy as well. But because it's a full moon, it's helping to bring an ending to something. Ending, adjustment, acknowledgement, change, shift is available here. It is a wonderful time to clean out psychological or emotional fear-based baggage that you have. If you don't need it, if you've got stuff, if you have people, places, and things hanging around your spot, hanging around your space, and you don't need them anymore, it is time to shed them. Allow this moon to help you take down those walls, shed them so that you can walk through. Now, what is also really great is that the um, Sun-Saturn trine is happening, you know, with this full moon. So this is this is a really great energy because it makes you take a more serious look at that sun energy, your vitality, who you are. And this is not about being your authentic self. This is who are you today? How are you showing up in your life today? And how can you do that more effectively? How can you promote more purpose? How can you live with more joy? How can you let go of the things that are holding you down? You've got to be able to fly at that speed of love. And you can't do that if you're weighed down with baggage. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So great week intense week intense week of change i look forward to seeing what changes for each of you guys you're going to definitely have to keep me posted okay put it in the comment section down below i always see your comments i try and give it the little heart if i can't always answer but i definitely see you and i love to connect with you so like this video comment share subscribe make sure you click the notification button and subscribe that way when i have a new video that posts you know that it's up there and when i'm doing a live stream in which those are coming up, you can definitely know and come be a part of it, okay? I love you guys. Bye.